Hello and welcome to today's video. So today we are doing another round of my stash dive series. If you're new to this series, it is kind of my way of doing a shop your stash. I pick out five products from my collection that I want to use five times each and then I share those with you. I share the looks that I do with the palette and then I share with you the next five products that I'm going to be using. So if you want to see why I chose these five products um, as well as any swatches, I encourage you to go see the previous video. But what I'm going to be doing now is talking about these products here, how they worked for me. Then we are going to go into the looks that I created with this palette. And then I will be sharing with you the next five products that I will be using for this round. So let's start with these products. So here I've got my handy dandy little tally sheet where I keep track of how many times I used each item. Um, let's start with the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead illuminating face oil. Um, I found it a little tricky to start using this. That I, a number of days had gone by um, since I picked all my items and I wasn't reaching for this so I had to change things up a bit. As you can see I did get some good use out of this. I used it eight times and what I found worked for me was putting this in the bathroom and using it as a kind of a skincare item instead of a makeup item. Um, it does have some good skincare ingredients in it. It's got some niacinamide in it and so by putting it on I'd, I'd rinse my face in the morning I'd put this on and then I would go in with my sunscreen and then um, I would do my makeup after so by switching that little part up I was actually able to get some good use out of this and I quite enjoyed it so I'm glad that I was able to use this a fair bit next is the eyeliner and you can see I was able to use that five times this is the NYX off tropic pro liner they do I've noticed these colorful liners um, whenever they come out with a new collection they also sometimes have a new batch of colors. I really like their colored liners. Not a lot of drugstore brands come out with fun colors and NYX does. So I really enjoyed this. I was hoping I would use it more but it actually didn't go as well with the color story of the eyeshadow palette as I was hoping it would. So I found I was reaching for other eyeliners instead but I was able to use that five times. Um, so next let's talk about these two here. So as you can see I used the lip liner six times and I was able to use the lipstick five times. The lipstick was the item that I found the hardest to get the uses out of. This was the last thing that I got to, um, to that I reached the five uses with and the main reason was is I thought the color would go really well with the eyeshadow palette. I thought it would be a nice easy nude to kind of go with multiple looks, but it really pulled very orangey peach and that didn't go with all the shadows in the palette. So there was a lot of times where I would do a look with the palette and this just wasn't the right shade. Pairing it with the lip liner did help. This did make it a little more brown based, but there was just there was just a lot of times where this just wasn't the right color to go with the eye look that I created and so I had to reach for something else. So I'm kind of learning that in order to get good use out of whatever lip product I pull, I really need to make sure that it's going to complement um, the looks that I might create. I'm going to have to really evaluate the eyeshadow palette and pull something that I think will go with a multitude of looks. But I did end up using these a good amount um, and considering I wasn't really reaching for them before at all I mean I'm happy with those uses that I got and then finally you'll notice these two items down here so the last round I introduced um, a new thing called the bonus bright I love bright lipsticks but I don't wear them very often but I, I still like having them. I still want to wear them. I want to encourage myself to wear them. So for each round, I am pulling a bonus bright, and I just have to use it one time. Now, for this round, I pulled two, but that was mainly because I felt that these were very similar colors and very similar formulas, and I wanted to figure out which one I liked best with the thought of um, decluttering the one that was the duplicate. However, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to declutter one of these. I wore both of these in a look, um, and I made a point of wearing them for like a full day and not babying them at all. So I put them on with my makeup. I do my makeup around between 9 and 10 in the morning, and I have my breakfast, I drink my coffee, I have my lunch, and I made a point of not touching these up and just seeing how they wore. 
And for how soft and creamy and comfortable they are on the lips, I thought for sure that by lunchtime they would basically be gone. And neither of them were. They held on really, really well. Uh, they didn't look crusty like some kind of liquid lips do. And the colors were different enough. I think you can kind of see in the tubes here, this is just a little bit brighter, a little bit more orange, and this one is just a little bit more of a coral, like a pinky coral. And so I liked both of them, and I didn't feel like one of them kind of, I didn't feel like I'd always reach for one over the other. So yeah, I think I'm going to end up keeping both of these, and I'm, I'm glad that I was able to use them. So next, I'm going to go through the looks that I created with the palette. Normally, I create five looks with the palette. This round, you guys are getting a bonus look. I needed to create one more look to get that last use out of that lipstick. So you are getting six looks for this round. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be putting those on the left side of the screen there. So let's start with the first look that I created. Um, I will mention, in case you didn't see the last video, uh, I did switch out three shades in this palette this one, this one, and then this one. I did explain what the original shades were and why I switched them out in the last video, um, if you wanna check that out. But just for the sake of going through the looks, I wanted to mention that again, that those are not original shades to the palette. So let's start with the first look. This one was fairly simple. I wanted to do just a nice warm look. And I went in first with this shade here to build up the shape that I like. I deepened the outer corner with this shade here. I went all over the lid with this shade here, and then I used this purple for my inner corner. I will just say this right now, this is probably my favorite color in the palette here, and I used this quite a bit. So that was the first look. And you can also see, I believe I was wearing that Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in this look here, so you can kind of see what that color looked like. For the second look, I wanted to use some of the cool tones in the palette. So I started off the look with this shade here to build the shape that I like. I went into the outer corner with this shade here to deepen that up. And then I did kind of a gradient combination on my lid. So I went in with this green here on the outer portion of my lid. I used this shade here on the middle portion of my lid. And I used this shade here on the inner portion of my lid. And then I went into my favorite purple there for the inner corner. For the third look, I wanted to go back up into that warm section. I believe I was going out for the day, so I wanted something that wasn't too crazy. Uh, so I went into this shade here for my crease and transition area just to build up the shape I like. I deepened the outer corner with this shade here. I believe I brought in a little bit of the shade here just to add a little bit more pink to that outer area there. I used this shade here for the inner corner and then I went all over the lid with this shade here. I don't often reach for browns and more neutral colors but this bronze is absolutely beautiful and I do enjoy using it when I use this palette. In this look you can actually see the BH Cosmetic lip color um, so I'm hoping you can see that it's just a little bit brighter than the Physicians formula but both of them are really nice, but that gives you an idea of the comparison of the two shades. For the fourth look, I went back down to the cool tone section. I wanted to try and use some of the colors that I hadn't yet used, so I went in with this color here to build up the shape that I like in the crease and transition area. I used this color here to deepen the outer lid. I went all over the lid with this shade here and then topped it with the purple. And then I used this shade here for my inner corner. For the fourth look, I wanted to do kind of a peachy purple look. That is a combination that I really enjoy. So first I went into this shade here to set up the shape. And then I went into this shade here to deepen the outer corner. I went all over the lid with this shade here. I layered the outer lid with this shade here. Um, I went into the inner corner with this shade here, but then I wanted to wear the lipstick that I chose, and like I explained, it just pulls more kind of orangey brown than peachy, and I found that this color here really kind of coordinated well with it. So I dipped into this shade here for kind of my upper transition going towards my brow bone. You can see that it's a little warmer in that area. So I added this color here just to kind of pull in that color so that I could wear that lip color and I think they coordinate pretty nicely. 
And then finally, the bonus look. So as I explained, I needed to use that lipstick one more time, and so I wanted to create a look that I knew would coordinate with it. And this one is super simple. I pretty much just used two shades in this look. So I went into this shade here to create the shape that I like. Um, like I just mentioned, I found this shade coordinated with that lip color really nicely. Uh, so I just I built up the crease, I built up the transition area, I used it on my lower lash line, um, I layered it a little bit on the outer corner just to deepen that area up a little bit. And then I just popped this shade here in the inner corner. Uh, I also added a wing with this look and then using a small flat brush, I layered this shade here over the wing. It shows up really nicely in person, though you can't really tell, you can't really see the reflect in the photo, but you can tell in person. So unfortunately that didn't translate as well. But yeah, super simple look, two shadows. Um, I, I really like how it turned out and I was able to use that lipstick for a last time so that I could pull five new products. So before I move on to the next five items that I will be pulling, let's talk about this palette for a little bit. I do love this palette. I find it especially useful for me now that I've switched out those three shades. Um, but there's a lot of beautiful shades in here. I love this purple. I've mentioned that before. Um, these two are really pretty lid shades. I actually like these quite a bit um, for crease shades even though I don't typically reach for those kind of warmer shades even though this is very kind of pinky red I enjoyed that one this green is absolutely beautiful however in working with this palette this round I think I have figured out that I want to switch out one more shade and that is going to be this one here I just don't enjoy working with this I'm not inspired by this shade um, in the pan it looks like a beautiful teal and you can see it is kind of a teal color, but it just does not have the reflect that the other metallics do. It's kind of this like satin finish. Um, and I, I don't wear these dark, dark colors on my lid. So the only time I'm really gonna reach for this is to deepen the outer lid. And when you kind of spread this out, it's just, it kind of loses all its life. I don't know if you can see there, but it, it ends up being like this dark, blackened forest green and I just yeah I don't see myself wanting to reach for this if I want to deepen the outer corner using these cool tone shades I'm going to reach for this purple here I just find it works a lot better so I have a feeling I am going to be pulling that out and switching it up I was trying to think of what kind of color I would really like in its place, what would give this palette some more versatility for me and I think what I'm going to be looking for is kind of a really light icy mint green or pale green color. I think that will add um, a really fun element to this palette. Uh, it will be a really nice inner corner highlight for these cool shades. I think it will be a really nice contrast for the warmer shades. So I'm going to keep my eye out for a single in that kind of color range that I can switch up. But otherwise, I love this palette. I've said before, this was the first palette I ever purchased. Um, and yeah, I still really enjoy it and I find it, I still find it really inspiring. So now let's talk about the five items I will be rolling in for this next round. Um, I'm going to talk about these ones first and then we will get to the palette. So let's start with this one here. This is the AOA Studio BB Cream in the shade Fair. Usually I don't pull in a complexion product just because I tend to kind of rotate through them. But I don't know if you can see this here, but that's where the product is in the component right now. And it is getting pretty low, and I would really like to use this up and get it out. I love this BB cream. This is my second tube of it. This is only a dollar, which is just crazy. Uh, but this color works really well for me, and the formula is just really, really nice. So it blends in nicely with my skin. Um, it lasts really well for me. I mean, I do have normal skin, so I don't usually have trouble with things lasting, but it is just a really nice BB cream. However, like I said, it's almost done and I would like to get this rolled out. So we're going to try and use this hopefully more than five times.
So next is this Annabelle Waterline Eyeliner in the shade Lavender. You can see it here. It's just this really pretty light purple shade. I've mentioned before that I'm finding my Stash Dive series um, a really good way to make use of my colored liners. And this is the color that I was actually reaching for quite a bit with the Magic Mini Palette instead of that green. This went with those shades really, really well. And because of the shades in this palette and because of the shades in my current single manacle palette, um, I feel like I'm going to get some really good use out of this. So this is the perfect color and so that is why I wanted to pick this one. For my nude lip product, I am going to pull the Sephora Lip Click in the shade Caramel. Um, I really tried to pick something for this round that would go more with both cool and warm looks because that's a challenge I found in the last round is that the nude lip color I picked just didn't go with all the colors in the palette. So I'm hoping this will be a little bit more versatile. Um, it's a really nice, I think it's fairly neutral, I mean it's kind of a, uh, yeah, it's like, it's not completely brown, but it's like a pinky brown. I think it will go well with the cooler tone looks, I think it will still go with the warm tone looks. I think it will go with my single mingle palette right now, so I feel like I should be able to reach for this a ton. And then the final of the five products before we get to the eye palette, I wanted to pull this Moira Cream Shadow. This is in the shade Saturn. If you remember my unboxing from Moira Beauty, this was my favorite shade of the three that I chose. I just find that you can put this with any eye look and it just makes it so cool. So I will explain more when we get to the palette, but I feel like this shade will complement um, what's in there really well. And I will be able to reach for this a bit. I might even be able to kind of mix it in with my single mingle palette. I might be able to mix it in with other looks that I do. So I think I can get some good use out of this, even though you can see I dip into this quite a bit. I really, really love this shadow. And now for the eyeshadow palette. This is the Violet Foss Essentials 2. I just received this in my BoxyCharm. I have not even touched this palette, but I was so excited to receive it. I do have the Essentials 1, and I enjoyed that. And I really like the color story in this one, and I, I might have a depotting plan for this, so I wanted to give it a good go as an entire palette before I decided if I was going to do that or not. I'm sure looking at this, you can already see which shades I'm really excited about. This one here, Wild Orchid, looks beautiful. It's like this pink fuchsia pink with a blue kind of reflect there, and then even the blue violet looks like a beautiful purple. Um, they're showing a little washed out in the screen there, but they are beautifully vibrant, and oh, just, you know I love my purples. Um, even this aqua shade is the kind of green, greeny blue that I can wear. This is not my favorite kind of shade, but I feel like um, it's turquoise enough versus like a true, true blue that layering it with this one and combining it with the purples will work really well. Um, I feel like there's a good range of neutrals in this palette for blending and for building up my the shape that I like. There's some really pretty, here let's go with this finger here, there's some really pretty kind of neutral metallics, that's the rose gold, it's kind of, yeah it's a rose gold but it's got a gold flip to it, and then this copper shade down here is really pretty. So I feel like this palette's going to be really fun to play with for both um, if I just want something very simple to go out or if I want to play with color, I feel like this palette's going to work really well and I feel like it's going to be pretty easy to incorporate the other items that I chose with this one. So as I mentioned in the last round, I wanted to start incorporating a bonus bright. Um, so basically I want to pull a lip product from my collection that is a brighter shade that I might not pull for on a regular basis and my goal is just to use it one time. And so for this round, I chose this CoverGirl lipstick. I don't know what line it's from, it doesn't say, but it's shade Divine Line 372. And this is just a really, really bright purpley pink. And based on the shades that are in the palette, I think I should be able to use this at least one time. I really do like how this looks on me. It does stain, so I'm going to have to plan my usage carefully. But yeah, so this is the bonus bright for this round. So there we go. These are the products that I will be choosing for the next round. I'm really excited to dive into these. I think they will all kind of go with each other really well. I should be able to get some really good use out of them. I'm really excited to play with that palette. Um, but yeah, so... As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a 
fabulous day and I will see you in the next one.